Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, press Ctrl plus N. Then I'm going to use A5 paper size and this is the dimension. Then click Great. So here we are now. So now I'm going to my resource file and I'm going to import this image over here. Okay, so having this one now, so the next one, I'm going to create a solid color. And I'm going to copy this color code from here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid color and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to linear light then this is the outcome of it so after this one now i'm going to my resource file and over here i'm going to import this background image then drag it down over here then you click ok then this one now we are going to change the bloody mode to screen all right and then go back to your resource file and over here i'm going to bring this one then change the blending mode to screen something like this then and i'm going to import this image of worship here then click ok then having done this one so the next one we are going back to our resource file and we are going to import this one then you leave this one over there and this one i'm going to change the blending mode to soft light then why this one i'm going to change it to luminosity okay so this is our background now and now I'm going to group the background hold your shift key while you select it then come over here and click it or ctrl plus G to group so having done this one the next one now then we are going to import the church logo then you reduce it and our position is somewhere around here then go to your test document then make a copy of this right click and copy it or ctrl plus c to copy then i'm going to zoom in so that i'll be able to see it very well then select your test tool press t on your keyboard to select test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and here I'm going to change the font color to white. Then I'm using the font Tahoma. Then make it regular. Then select the alignment left. And drag it over here. Then reduce the logo to make it a little smaller okay then something like this so having done this one then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then drag it down then select your test tool ctrl plus a to highlight it then go to your document and copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste Then come over here to increase the character spacing. Like this is okay. Then I'm going to reduce the font size this way. Okay. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Then I'm going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. And also, I'm going to 
select the church logo and the text over there then group it go to select then select all now apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back to select and you will see deselect control plus d that is the shortcut so having done this one the next one now then i'm going back to my test and i'm going to copy this one then select your test remember t for test then control plus v to paste and i'm going back to my test and and as i will select this font over here then control plus c to copy go to your font then i'm going to paste it control plus v to paste and here is the font sorry i think this is the font i will copy this one then control plus v to paste all right so over here is the font now i'm going to increase the font size then come over here and i'm going to reduce the character spacing by minus 40 percent then select it come over here and select this icon you are seeing here i hope you can see this logo then select it then come over here then select this one drag this one up something like this drag it up then you click ok I will reduce the font size then I will click here so as you can see all this shape anyone you apply then is going to affect here so for example when I click on this one then you will see the effect of it and you can transform it by using your mouse to create your shape okay so as you can see this shape now so you can see any how you apply to it then that is how it's going to affect it over here so over here i'm using the upper one so this one then reduce it so you can use this one over here the number to adjust it so this is it and over here then you also have this one the arch so you can also use this one to form your design then you can see the outcome so i'm going to make use of this one right here So as you can see, you can still go back. You should you need any adjustment, then you can still go back. Then you can use all these ones then to adjust the setting, or you bring your mouse like this and adjust the setting. Alright, so having done this one now, then I'll click OK. Then I'm going to increase the font size a little. Alright like this so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to apply a test effect on this one okay then go to your your fs test here then select your blending option then now i'm going to select bevel and emboss then the style i'm using is outer bevel then and smooth then the depth is 115 then the size is 13 then and the contour i'm using is this one so then you leave this setting screen and 50 percent opacity then the shadow mode should be multiplied and 50 percent opacity okay then after that then apply a drop shadow then on the drop shadow then 
make use of this setting here multiply opacity 100 percent then the distance 11 the spread 7 and the size is 9 okay so having done that one then i'm going to click ok to apply the effects on the test then go to your resource file and over here i'm going to bring this rent angle shape reduce the size then i will reduce it like this then i'll click ok to apply it then ctrl plus minus or plus then to increase the font i mean the to zoom in the size all right something like this is okay then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate use your arrow then to bring it like this then after that i'm going to apply my tests over here then go to your test document and i will copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then and i will change the font before then i'm going to remove the character spacing by zero percent or you can use minus 20 percent and i'm going to change the font to this swiss here now increase the font size so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to copy this test effect from here to here hold your alt key then you drag it and release your hand to copy it okay so here is the test in fact okay then control plus zero to bring it back now i'm going to select this one hold your shift key while you select it then group it together now i'm going to reduce the size and take it up over here okay so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to work on this area now then go to your rent angle over here too so then you select ellipse too now draw a perfect cycle then you bring this one down like this then i'm going to move my test up hold your shift key while you select it then use your arrow key then to move it up this way okay something like this now i'm going to select the cycle and over here i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j or you drag it over here to duplicate it and i will turn this one off for now then on this one i'm going to work on this one now then go to your blending option and select your gradient overlay so now i'm going to apply a gradient color and here is the color code ctrl plus c to copy then select this one ctrl plus v to paste then come back again to copy this one Okay, so what is going to happen now so i'll click here then you can see the way the mouse change bar so then i will click here to apply that color automatically 
then and I will click here so when I click here then click here to apply the color over there and over here I'm going to change it to something white so it's not going to be white but I will adjust it something like this okay sorry it still remain one it's supposed to be three so this one now this one is going to be this one over here then and the middle so the middle is going to be something like this okay let me leave it like this instead of applying something whiter than this so I'm going to leave it like this. Then I'll click OK. So now come over here then to rotate the angle to zero percent. Now click OK. Then this one, I'm going to turn it on now. Then change the color to white and use your mouse then to bring this one down like this then hold your alt key then why you reduce it this way okay so this is what we have here now i'm going to my resource file and over here i'm going to import this texture here and I will position it around here, then increase the size, right click and create a clipping mask on it. All right. So hold your shift key while you select this one, then you take it up. And I'm going to, to group it, right? So having grouped it now, everything is intact now. So you can move it or do whatever you want to do very easily without any interruption. Okay, so the next one now then is the date and time. So I'm going to copy this one, then go to your resource file and now we import this icon. Then take it over here. Reduce the size, then position it around here. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then come over here, remove the character spacing by 0%, and now change the font color to black then and the font I'm, I'm going to use here is Tahoma then make it bold then you position this one around here increase it a little and I'm going to copy this one, then duplicate this one while you bring it down. Select your test tool, highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So now what you will do is to increase the size. Then, now I'm going to also get in touch with this one.
copy this one then before then i'm going to create a rent angle line here okay then select your test tool Control plus V to paste and this one I'm going to break it Increase the size Then close the space something like this why I'm going to increase it all right so like this so the next one then is to copy this one Control plus c to copy then i'm going to duplicate this one drag it over here then select your test tool highlight it then Control plus v to paste Then I'm going to create a rent angle line over here. Something like this. Then make it to a greater space over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to select from here then down to this one and I'm going to reduce the size then so that I will be able to fit it here very well so something like this okay so having done this one so the next one now then I'm going to copy this one then import the time icon reduce the size so now i'm going to duplicate this one drag it here to make a duplicate then why i will take it up here then you bring it down select your test tool I like it control plus V to paste increase the size then duplicate it control plus J to duplicate then you bring this one down now copy this one select your test tool Ctrl plus V Then I'm going to change the boldness to regular Reduce the size I think it will be nice if I use bold Okay This way so having done this one so the next one then i'm going to copy this one then why i'm going to duplicate this one then i will drag this one up Then position it over here. Then you create a line. Then I will copy this one, duplicate it, 
then you drag it up now bring this one select your test then you can manually type 8 now increase the size okay then duplicate this one while you drag it over here and i'm going to copy the am select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste i'm going to reduce the size something like this so on this one i think this is not the way it's supposed to be so i think it should be in line with this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce the size Then, and this arrow, I'm going to remove it. Alright, so now I'm going to group the first one. So the dates, I'm going to group it. Hold your shift key while you select this one. Then I'm going to group it. So this is the date. So I'll mark it so that I'll be able to understand. Then select it all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Why I'm going to take it up here. So then I'm going to align this one together. Okay, so having aligned in together, then I'm going to group this one. So here is the time. Then Ctrl plus A to select all, apply vertical alignment, then go back to select and deselect the line there. Then use your mouse i mean or the arrow key then to drag it up then i'll position it this way okay so now what i'm going to do now then i'm going to create a space between this the, between the two there then from here then to here i'm going to use my arrow key then to move this one to this other side then why i'm going to move this one to this other side okay so having done this one now then i'm going to select it all again then i apply vertical alignment to centralize it then deselect so what i'm going to do now then i will open open it why I'm going to select a rectangle, then I will draw a rectangle over here. And I'm going to create a gradient overlay. So this is the color code, just the way we did this one. So that is what we are going to do. Now I'm going to select, then go to your gradient overlay. And here is the color I'm going to use. So this is the gradient I'm going to use over here. Then I'll click OK to apply it. All right, so having applied it now. So what I'm going to do next, then I'm going to my property, then remove the link. And over here, I'm going to use 93% by 93%. Then I'll click OK. Then you will have something like this. 
then you will take your icon up so that it will show. Then bring your icon closer. Alright, so this one now I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus J to duplicate. Why I will drag it over here. Select the time. Then use your arrow key then to move it. Then reduce the size. Then you click OK. Now hold your shift key then to reduce the size like this and over here like this. OK. So this is what we have here. Now I'm going to select this one. Ctrl plus A to select all, then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Alright, so having graded this one now, then the next one we are going to do then is to input the, the time, I mean the location. So copy this one, go to your resource file and uh, import the location icon, reduce the size. Select your test tool. Now control plus V to paste. Then open the character space. Then apply center alignment. Alright. So select this one and group it. And over here is our location. Select all, apply vertical alignment, then you deselect it. So you can increase the size. Now I'm going to select this one, the time, the date, then increase the size. Why I will bring it down this way. Then you increase it this way. So the last thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to import the light flare. So I'm going to import this one. Okay, then I'm going to change the bloody mode to screen. Why I'm going to position this one over here, then apply your layer mask, select your brush, and I'm going to brush the edges over here. Then duplicate this one, and over here I will position this one around here, like this. So, and the last one, then I will move this one up. Then I'm going to open it. No need. Then go to the top here. And I will import this one. Then change it to screen. Then position it over here. Hold your shift key while you reduce the size there. Then position it over here like this. And I'm going to apply a layer mask, select my brush, and I will clean up the edges here. Alright. So then use your arrow key then to move it up this way. So that is all for the tutorial. Then what I would like to do here now, then I'm going to increase the size a little. 
something this way then the tests here and i'm going to move it up why i will increase the size this way is okay all right this one should go up a little okay so we are done with the tutorial thank you so much for following remember if you have not subscribed to this channel please kindly do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my tutorial thank you i really appreciate all your support i really do appreciate thank you so much